Welcome back to the Sin of a Wife. I am Shonaka Renee. I'm here with you again. This is episode four. Episode four, thank you so much for tuning in, for watching, for subscribing, for liking. I really, really, really appreciate it. Again, I am Shonaka Renee, and this is the Sin of a Wife. We know that sin is an acronym, and it stands for Secret Consecration for an Esther's Noble Transformation. So basically, the purpose, there's a three-pronged mission to the sin of a wife. The first is to equip women to be the wife that God has called for them to be. So my mission, the, the sole reason, three parts of the sole reason of me being here is so that I can equip you with the tools, with the, the practices, with the, the, the things that you need to be the wife that God has called for you to be. The second prong, the second part of that mission is to equip you to be the wife that you need to be for yourself, right? So we all know that there is a sense of self-satisfaction, a sense of self-gratification of, of that that we need to be for ourselves. The last part of my mission at The Sin of a Wife is to equip you to be the wife that your husband needs, right? So we all know that when God created us, when he created us to be the lovely wives that we are or that we will be, we know that there was a purpose in that. So thank you again for watching. Tonight, we know we're in the middle of a three-part series about prayer. And then tonight, what we're going to do, we're going to actually pray. And then next week, I'm going to talk about, next episode, I'm going to be talking about, is prayer enough? So thank you all again for watching. We're going to go ahead and get started into the um, topic tonight. Because we are praying, I want to know. Um, okay. Yes, Holy Spirit. So as if you all don't know, um, this is a ministry that is completely yielded to Holy Spirit. And I do as Holy Spirit instructs for me to do. So I was going to read a scripture, but I just heard to wait until next episode to give that scripture. Um, and I know that there's a reason why. So amen. So I'm going to just get into prayer. We're going to pray tonight as God leads. Amen. So let's go ahead and get started with prayer. I'm so excited to be able to pray with you all tonight. Um, so Father God, we thank you so much. We worship you. We lift you up. God, you are wonderful. You are great and greatly to be praised. You are Jehovah. We call you Jehovah. We call you Alpha and Omega. We call you perfect in all of your ways. We call you inerrant. We call you God omnipotent. We call you omniscient. We call you omnipresent. We God say that you are all powerful. We say that you are all knowing. We say God that you are ever present, that you are everywhere. So Father God, God, right now, I ask right now that Holy Spirit, that you would manifest your presence. God, as we are coming before your throne, Father God, I decrease, I decrease, and God, I ask that Holy Spirit increase. Holy Spirit, you have permission to write on my tongue. Holy Spirit, you have permission to guide this call and to guide my tongue that I pray exactly what heaven is saying. God, I thank you, God, so much for every woman that is watching. I thank you, God, that as she's tuning in, Father God, to get that those things that she needs, to be the wife, God, that you have called her to be. If she is a wife in waiting, Father God, I thank you, Father God, that you are speaking to her and that you are downloading into her, into every woman that is watching all of the things that are needed to be the wife, God, that you you have called for her to be. God, I thank you, God, that she has a spirit of, of love, of power, and of a sound mind, God, because your word says that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but you have given us a spirit, the, um, a spirit of power, a spirit of love, and a spirit of a sound mind. So, Father God, I thank you right now, Father God. I thank you and I praise you, God, God, that there is no fear. God, I thank you, God, for the 
woman that is tuning in and perhaps she doesn't know what to do in her marriage. Perhaps she's at a place where she has hit a brick wall, where she has done everything that she can think of to save her marriage. God, I thank you right now, God, that you will be a strong tower. Your word says, God, that your name is a strong tower and that those who run to it find safety, Father God. So God, I stand, God, with my sisters right now across this land. I stand with my sister's father, God, who may be a wife in waiting, and maybe she has felt, Father God, that it will never happen, that her husband will never find her, that she will never be in a place where she can call herself Mrs. So-and-so. Father God, I ask you right now, Father God, that you would be God with your women on tonight, with your precious daughters on tonight, Father God. God, that you will show yourself strong. God, that you will show yourself mighty. Father God, I thank you so much, God, for who you are. I thank you, God, for who you are. God, we thank you, God, for who you are, God. God, because you are Abba Father, God. You are Abba Father, God. You are Abba Father. Your word says that you have not given us again the spirit of fear, but the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry Abba Father. So God, as your daughters, God, we cry on tonight, Abba Daddy. We call we cry on tonight, Abba Father. We say, God, that you are Abba. We say, God, that you are Father. We say, God, that you are, God, our strong tower. We say, God, that you are the rock, God. We say, God, that you are the spring of living water, God. We say, God, that you are the truth, God, and besides you, there is none other. We say, God, that you are all powerful, God. We cast our cares upon you, Father, God. We lean not to our own understanding, God. We acknowledge you in all of our ways, God, knowing that you will direct our paths. God. God, as wives and wives to be, Father God. God, we submit our will unto your will. God, we submit our will and ourselves, God, unto you, God. You have your way, God. Even tonight, God, those that are already married, Father God, I thank you, God, that you are showing them, God, and you are showing yourself strong in a way to where they're able to submit unto their husbands, Father God, as their husbands are submitted unto you, Father God. I pray for husbands right now in the name of Jesus, God, both husbands that are already husbands and husbands that will be husbands, Father God. God, I pray, God, right now, Father God, God, that you are leading, God, and that you are directing, Father God. God, that you're giving them everything that they need, Father God. God, that you speak to them in a way, God, that they understand, Father God. God, that they will come back and God, that they will be able to translate. They will be able to communicate, God, to the wives, God. God, the things that you are saying, Father God, the things, God, that the vision, God, that they have been given from you. God, I thank you, Father God. I thank you, God, for the husbands to be, Father. God, I thank you, God, that they are being prepared. God, that you are taking out anything in them that's not like you, just like you're taking out anything in us that's not like you, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for even the children, Father God. I thank you, God, for bonus children, Father God. I thank you, God, for children that have not yet been birthed, Father God. I thank you, God, that they will see, God, mommy and daddy, they will see, God, Daddy and mommy, God, coming together in prayer on one accord, submitted unto you, Father God. I thank you, God, that the generations to come, God, God, that we as wives, God, that we are standing, God, that we are kneeling before you, that we are laying prostrate before you, that we are coming before you in prayer, Father God. God, that you would download to us the blueprint. Father God, that you would give us, God, how, God, to be wives. God, that you will tame our tongues, God, that you would give us the words to say, Father God, and let us not go ahead of you, Father. God, as we are wives, God, and as we, we may hear things and we may feel like we know the answer and we may feel like we know the way and we may feel like, well, our husbands are just wrong in this situation. Father God, I ask right now, God, that you would write on our tongues. God, that you would give us mm, direction. God, that we will not speak outside of what you would have us to speak. God, right on our tongues. God, right on our tongues. We know that the tongue can be very deadly, Father. So God, we don't want to say anything. We don't want to speak death over a situation that you have spoken life over. We don't want to speak condemnation 
over a situation, Father God, where that you have not condemned. God, we don't want to say damaging words. God, words that can be very poisonous, words that cannot be taken back, words that can really do harm, God, to our husbands, that can do harm to our husbands-to-be, that can do harm to our children. Even, God, those wives in waiting, God, as we are in waiting, God, write on our tongues that we not speak words into the atmosphere, that we not articulate things that heaven is not saying, that we don't speak life, or I'm sorry, we didn't, that we don't speak death over our situation before it has even had a chance to come into fruition. Father God, even those of us who are standing and waiting and we may not understand what's happening, we may not understand what's taking so long, allow us not to speak death over the situation, not to speak contrary to what you are saying, not to say that it will never happen, to be very cautious of our words, to be very cautious of what we put into the atmosphere. Because we know that as daughters of God, that our words have power, that our words shape our future. So God, write on our tongues, allow us to get into our word, allow us to turn our faces to you, to turn down our plates, to pray and to fast as you lead, Father God. God, we are asking this, Father God. God, in a time where there's so many different alternatives, where there are so many pseudo gods, there are so many idols and so many things and, and distractions that could pull us in various ways. God, allow us to be steadfast in you. Allow us to stand firm on what you have called for us to do, on what you have instructed for us to do, on your word, Father God. Give us, God, that tenacity. Give us, God, that courage. Give us, God, the strength, God, the know-how, Father God. God, the temperament, Father God. Give us, God, the things that we need, Father God, to go forth, God, as the wives, God, that you have called for us to be, Father God. God, your wisdom is what we ask for tonight. We ask for your wisdom. We ask for your wisdom. We ask, God, that you would go forth and you would show yourself strong, God, that you would show yourself mighty, God. We cannot do this without you. We cannot be the wives that you have called for us to be without you. It is nonsensical to think that we can operate without our creator. So on this day, we lean to our father. We lean to you, God, as your daughter. We lean to you, God, as the master of it all. We lean to you knowing that you have the whole world in your hands. We lean to you knowing, God, that there is no plan that supersedes you. There is no way that is greater than you. There is no way that's higher than the way that you have set forth. So we yield and we bring our wills under subjection to your will. God, we ask right now, mm, God, we ask right now, God, that you would give us the strategies, God, the strategies to being the Proverbs 31 woman that you have written out in your word. That woman that seeks wool and flax for her household. That woman whose husband is known in the city because of his wife. God, because that could be prayer in behind closed doors. God, he could be known because of our prayers that we pray to you. God, thank you so much for giving us wisdom in 2020 that your word is not obsolete, that your word is not void, that your word does not go and contradict itself now just because we're in 2020. God, allow for us to not think more highly of ourselves than we ought, but to submit ourselves under your mighty hand, to submit ourselves to your will, to submit ourselves to your way. Father God, mm, I thank you so much for who you are. God, I thank you and I praise you, God. I lift your name on high. On this night, I stand in agreement with my sisters. I even pray, God, for the wives, mm, for the wives who are married 
And in their marriage, her and her husband have been trying to have a baby. God, I pray right now, God, that your hand be on her womb. God, that your hand be on, Father God, her husband. Father God, that you will bless God them, God. God, that you will bless them with the baby, Father God, that they have been praying for. God, even those, God, who have dismissed it as impossible. God, I thank you, Father God, that you are the God of possibilities. You are the God of miracles. You are the God who makes a way out of no way. So, Father God, be it unto them as unto their faith, Father God. God, that you would increase their faith. Father God, that you would bless their faith, that you would bless their faithfulness, Father God. God, I thank you, God. And God, even to that woman who thinks that perhaps if she were to just get pregnant, that her marriage would become better. Father God, I ask God that you would show her, Father God, and God, that you would lead her into understanding, God, that the marriage has to be in a healthy place to, to birth a baby into into that union so that that baby grows up in, in a healthy environment. So God, I ask God that you would be bombing Gilead in her marriage. Father God, I ask God that you would open up the ways of communication between her and her husband. Father God, I ask right now, God, that you would do the work in both of them, Father God, that needs to happen, Father God, so that they can be fruitful and multiply. God, I thank you, God, for the woman who's tuning in and she feels like her marriage is doomed. She, all she sees is gloom around her. All she sees is, is death around her in her marriage. God, I ask God that you give life. God, I ask God that you resuscitate. Father God, I ask right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, God, that you would do a new thing. God, I thank you, God, for every woman, God, who maybe in a domestic violence situation. Father God, we know that you do not condone violence. We know, God, that is not you. We know, God, that that is not something that you want us to stick through and to sit out. God, I ask that you create a way of escape. God, that you give her wisdom, Father God. God, that you give her wisdom, God. Even if, God, I pray for the woman who's in a violent marriage, and she is the one who is actually carrying out the violence. God, I pray right now, God, that you would speak to that woman now. God, and speak to her to let her know that violence is not the way. God, help her to get to the root of the issue as to why she feels violence has to be the answer. God, you are bombing Gilead. You do not throw anybody away. So, God, we come into agreement now. I come into agreement with your sisters now. With I'm sorry, with your daughters. I come into agreement with my sisters now. Father God, that you would be, mm, that you would be with them. God, I thank you so much and I praise you. I lift your name on high. God, I even pray for the women who are watching who are mother-in-laws. God, I pray, God, that you would bless the mother-in-laws now. God, that you would give them the words to say. God, that just as a wife, you would write on, God, the tongues of the mother-in-laws, of when to get involved, when not to get involved, of how to be that support that her daughter-in-law or that her son-in-law needs. Father God, I thank you so much. I worship your name. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. We give you all of the praise, God, because you are great. You're the great I am. You're the I am that I am. Mm -mm. And we can fill in the blank. You, you are the I am. You are healer. You are creator. You are love. You are wisdom. You are knowledge. You are. You are God. You are faithful. You are just. You are goodness. You are mercy. Mm. Ah, you are joy. You are bomb in Gilead. You are healer. You are counselor. You are. You are God. So we lean on the I am. 
on the I am that I am. Father God, we lean on you. We worship you. We adore you. We magnify your name because you are wonderful. You are wonderful. There is no God besides you. Any idol that we have created, we bring those down, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We ask for your forgiveness for making anything higher than you. We place you back into your rightful position, which is the head of our life. There is no God besides you that we worship, that we adore, that we exalt. So we say hallelujah. We say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we worship your name. And it's in the precious name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Well, ladies, thank you all so much again for tuning in to the second part of the three-part series. I'm about prayer, about being a praying wife, about being a praying wife to be a wife in waiting next episode i'm going to be talking about is prayer enough so if you watch if you um tune in thank you so much again for liking for sharing for subscribing to the channel and i will see you all next time Bye -bye. prayer is key he answers me let's talk about prayer Subscribe.